Hello everybody, Diane Jankowski here, also known as Diane J. Marie, here on the Facebook streets, just waiting for Christine Marguerite to show up here so we can chat a little bit. So our conversation today is going to be all about meet the teachers in training for divine design um, academies body of design course and a few of us that are in teachers in training uh, for this upcoming course. I am waiting for the beautiful and wonderful Christine Marguerite who is one of the other teachers in training for Body of Design, a wonderful program created with Lauren Antofuermo um, and Spirit. Ah, there she is. All right, Lady Pants, um, are you ready to go? There you are. Ah! Awesome. Ooh. Ah. What's up, Lady? Oh, boy, I haven't gone six screen in a while and I with all these know. changes to Facebook I was uh you know doing the tech gods please make this work I know, easy right? like, and you it just did. never know how it's gonna go down you just yeah. like hope for the best <laughs> like, then then suddenly then suddenly we're all here at the same absolutely. time absolutely so I was filling a little bit of um dead space while I was waiting for you to join up live here with me We've got a couple of people here watching. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So yeah. the whole reason that we are coming live to you this afternoon is, um, one, let me just do a quick reintroduction of myself. I had already done that, but I am Diane Jankowski. I am of Diane J. Marie Rise and Shine and Empowerment Coaching firm that focuses in on what I call the secret sauce, which is the spirituality of one's awareness to themselves and their higher self, as well as any of their divine emissaries and creator source energy, God, the universe, whatever it is of how it lands with you. I am here to bring to you the beautiful and wonderful energy geek formerly known as right but um <laughs> she's going by christine marguerite nowadays of love evolve energy she is um one of my peers one of my alignment partners and i am so happy that um she's continuing on her journey with me as one of the six who have been selected to become certified in the body of design program. A little preset to those who are hearing those words for the very first time. Body of Design is a personal development program that focuses in all aspects of your life, which is why you may find um, in some of these teacher meet the teacher interviews that some have been taking it repeatedly since its beta form. It's legacy foundations were body of love and body of light, which now have been combined into to body of design. And there has been some additional principles and material and attunements and a couple of uh, really cool things yet to be announced um, that are coming along with that program. So that's what we're here to talk about. But more specifically, what Christine's journey has been with Ooh. Lauren Fermo, oh. as well as Lauren Olivia. And for those of you who um, are familiar with Lauren, you know that we lovingly call her Fermo for short. Um, and Lauren Olivia, who has partnered with her of really bringing the course in its evolution in very simplistic and easy to integrate exercises and sometimes you don't even need to note in your conscious mind as i had shared 
but I do a lot of that work on an ongoing basis, kind of just running in my the background as I go about my day to day, but still yet have that dedicated time. So want to take a moment for Christine, for you to share um, about who you are first. What? Who am I? Who am I? Diane, that's a really great question. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you called yourself and the kitchen sink. <laughs> because it's right here with me. Can I tell you every time I've gone, like I'm thinking yoga classes specifically, like I'm the student who brings her water bottle, her extra t-shirt, her sweater, her hair, like I like set up camp. So yeah, and, I, and the kitchen sink, that's all I'm saying. Um, so what shall I say? I was looking at, because I've just, what you said was energy geek because I had that show energy geek speak. I want to say forever, but it wasn't forever. It was for about a year. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, um, and that is shifting. It's not shifting because we're all majorly shifting these days and morphing these days. So I just rewrote it. I kind of want to read this, but I kind of don't. So who am I? I'm still energy work based and meditation based. I do a lot of energy work group sessions and meditation classes and one-on-ones. I've moved into a deeper sphere where what I call, what I do is channeled energy work. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to leave it there. Am I still geeked on within the energy? Totally. Oh, yes, you, you are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially <laughs> expanding into the channeled energy work For because sure. that brings on a whole other vibration and frequency, um, which really, I mean, to me, you're kind of the energy wizard. So, and I've, I've, love that I have had the the honor many a times to work with you work for you work alongside you especially working alongside you I mean I really got to see the behind the scenes magic of that was fun do you remember what that? your was clients, that January that was that we, with yes. the priming for the year and oh that God, was such yeah. a treat for me because it gave me a whole new appreciation for what your clients receive and, and having the benefit of, of having a session with you myself, of seeing the behind the scenes. And yeah. it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely oh, amazing. And, I, and it gave me the sense of appreciating <laughs> why when I walked away and why when others walk away from a session with you, that they share the feedback that they do because mm -hmm. of all the work you're doing behind behind it so i want to personally thank you for that and for all of your past offerings your current offerings and what you have slated in the future as well yes thank That's you not, diane i don't even do thank that you. right i got like a funny heart when i do that um, i know <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me a little bit before um, you share your experiences, um, and I'm going to say body of love and body of light because I yeah. personally was in class with you last year for both of those, um, and I'm really curious to hear your perspective because as much as I know from what you've shared in class um, or what you and I uh, have shared during our coffee conversations at times, but I'm really curious to see kind of more of that intimate experience that you held kind of more closer to yourself. But before we get into that, tell me yeah, how yeah. you met, how, tell me about how you met Lauren and a little bit about your interactions and experiences with her. Um, let's see. The first exposure I had to her, I don't know if it was a meeting. Uh, the first uh, exposure I had to her was in the Lightworkers lab, uh, mm -hmm. or maybe it was on her social connections. I'm not really sure, um, which is where I'm broadcasting now, and you are soon to be, right? And so, which is just a crazy thing to think, just like three or four years later. And she was on some kind of, you know how, I don't want to call it a soapbox, but she like 
just opens up and she starts channeling and it like comes through her New York Brooklyn oh. accent and her thing and she's just like laying it down and I was like yeah I was like yelling not yelling but yeah kind of yelling at the screen I was like you go girl you tell them bring it yes mama amen and I was just all over the place with her energy right so that was my kind of experience with her. And then the bliss retreat happened um, maybe a year after that, maybe less. I'm not, I don't really know. But within that 2019, 2018, I guess it was 2018. Um, and I was doing a live feed, a live broadcast because I had, you know, a broadcast scheduled and it happened to be bliss. And um, from your I was tent, in my tent, I think. <laughs> yes, do you remember that? And I'm just in my tent, and people are like arriving, and people just keep showing up, and sh and Garrett was there, and all these people oh, just keep Garrett. showing up, and so it's like group, group live from the Bliss Retreat, and I kind of see Lauren, and mind you, she's kind of a rock star to me at this point, right? Like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I see, oh, I see her, and she just run she just like burst into the my little tent where everyone's doing like live readings and she just like plants one on me on camera <laughs> and i was like lauren hi and i'm all like ah. <laughs> <laughs> right? so that's that's how i actually met her she was just like oh, hello, hello, hello. And then, um so that was that was just it for and we connected in the 3d physical manifest then uh and we just became i don't want to say fast friends but fast mutual admirers and we just okay. would chat once in a while and then we just started chatting more and i was doing her classes and working together just like behind the scenes just mm -hmm. connecting and um so that that was the first not very long ago a couple of years ago yeah but at the yeah. same time <laughs> it feels longer because it just feels right at least yeah. that's my experience it feels very um like a such a a, a good welcoming alignment that as yeah. much as it's only been two years it feels like it's been longer because of the connection yeah uh, I concur. I concur with you as well. So mm. yeah, yeah. Well, we all know about soul groups and how that all works. So yeah, we do. At least girl. some of us do. So, um, <laughs> yeah. but I know what you mean about that passion that Lauren has, and that's one of the things that really drew me to her as well. Is she's very direct, and when she gets in with that channel and it's flowing through, yes. you're so right. The <laughs> characteristics of her really come out strongly which yeah. draws your attention to really want to listen up. And as much as it's direct, it's also gentle it, at the same time, which is a I unique concur. trait of being able to, to bring that through. So, well, thank you for sharing that about how you met Lauren, <laughs> how you crossed paths and her plants and a big old kiss on you. I remember that in that live <laughs> that you were too. at. <laughs> It was awesome. Yeah, it was wild. Awesome. Wild so time. tell me about your journey with the Body of Love, Body of Light program. Yeah, that's really interesting. It hasn't been that long, really, other than knowing her and how we speak in our sort of like weird Piscean speak <laughs> with each other. Um, it was last year. It started last year with Body of Love. I came to Body of Love first. Um, having done sessions with her and done, you know, the the work unbeknownst to me. And so I was um, kind of displaced in Shanghai and Florida and um, was doing Body of Love. That was my first exposure to it. And I actually remember I connected with you before we started body of love and we were having like these deep conversations and we were both like yeah i'm doing it your view yeah i'm doing it are you are you and then 
we did it. It began. Um, what can I say about it? It was deep for me. I was in that kind of really distinct from the program itself. Uh, I was in a really deep space. Um, I was processing a lot of deep emotions and experiences. And so moving through the body of love program, one at a time, each week, something new, some new zit that was ready to pop came to the surface. <laughs> and then yeah. the energetic zit popped. And it was like, oh. And then, and then for me, you know, for other people who are listening to this, that's how I roll. I tend to, I tend to go really deep, really quick. Um, it's just how I live my life. And so I was coming to it, not just that being how I roll through life, but the particular place I was in, plus the kind of work and thank goodness it's very gentle, subtle work. And that's what I will say about the Body of Love program is that it, it's very gentle, very gentle, and yet, <laughs> and yet it moves, it seeps down into this really deep place and mm -hmm. simply gently requests, are you ready to release this? Are you ready to look at this? Are you ready to integrate this? Are, are you ready to face this in some way? Um, so that to me was the magic of body of love. And in some ways I'm still integrating it, I would say. Oh, there's, sure. Um, right? Like there's yeah. what was, and you and I have talked about this, every week there's a particular mantra that you say, meaning, um, uh, a series of words, a sentiment, a, about a sentence long, um, that has a resonance to it. So it's not just the words, it's how um, they were given to you <laughs> in a way, and how your deep unconscious, your psyche starts to vibrate with that sentiment. So it's not just the words, it's the sentiment and the meaning that you bring to it and that it was given coming together. That's how I felt those mantras. And so you would just say it, you know, it's like water. You just say it however, however ritualized you want to do. And for me, it wasn't particularly ritualized. I have it like on my, on my phone, right? Like that. Mm -hmm. And um, that's part of how that week's work in the body of love moves deeper. It starts working with your subconscious and it starts massaging <laughs> this deeper stuff. Uh, anyway, I could go on and on. Oh, I know exactly what you mean by that. Yeah. I mean, taking the course and taking mm. it um, the same time with you in the fall. Yeah. Uh, well, beginning of fall, just before yeah. the fall equinox. But yeah. um, it does take you to a deeper place if you allow it. I do think Laura and Olivia did a really nice job, at least for me, reminding me to come up here. We're not ready to dive down into that deep. But for some people, you know, that's that's your journey. And I know that's for my me, yes. you shared as well that it was to go deeper. And, yes. and, and for me, I found Body of Love, which... In hindsight, Lauren had shared with me that body of love is offered as a preset to body of light because it's a little more foundational. And that oh, body, the body of love, mantras and disciplines, those are my go-to when I need, it's already part of my self-care, but when I need to really kind of give myself a, a bit of an amplification, that's my go-to. So mm -hmm. it's, it's really, I, I understand what you mean by all of that and how you can take it to a deeper set if you are ready. Um, and want and, to. And want to, exactly. And it is so gentle to integrate as yeah. well. And that's the nice thing about the programs 
So tell me how your journey then transitioned into Body of Life. Well, that's really interesting, Diane. My life, of course, changed. Sorry, I got I to gotta switch on sitting here. No, that's okay. Um, body of Light, because I had that foundation, Body of Light, it almost felt like it just flowed out of me and held space for me. Body of Light, I found to be very anchoring and very grounding. Um, that was my experience of it, generally speaking. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let you ask me another question because that's all I can think of to say at the moment. No, we can always circle back to it if there's something okay. in addition you wanna share. But I um, also kinda had that same experience where, and perhaps it's because we both took body of love to a deeper set, that body of light just came so easily and naturally yeah. to us yes. that it seemed, for me at least, it seemed like week to week preparing with the exercises, with the, you know, the easy course material to read or a video to watch and start integrating the mantras and working with that it became so effortlessly for yeah. me. And, yeah. And, you know, it could be twofold. I don't know. I'll speculate, you know, having the benefit of, you know, spending the weeks in body of love and kind of already being in that mindset for the integration, that it just flowed naturally as body of light dovetailed from love to light from a timing perspective. And then also to just being open to the reprogramming that we do of ourselves by going yes. through that program of shedding some false beliefs because that's where the release comes in. Yes. Allows so much that you're waiting, your, your higher self has been waiting for you to let <laughs> your guard down so that the good stuff can come in and start living with more joy and comfort and ease and you know, I've heard it all from some of my peers, your peers who have gone through it and how the confidence um, for oneself really starts to become more heightened and heightened and heightened with yeah. all of that. And life just becomes more joyful, which is ultimately yeah. the goal here to yes. experience <laughs> down on earth. So, right? yeah. But tell me why you chose to become a teacher and certified in body of design, which is the two programs being integrated into one, as well as enhanced with some new material that Lauren is including in it. What struck your, your interest in doing that? That's a really good question. Uh, it was simply trusting my heart and my gut. My, I don't know why initially, I didn't know why I was simply drawn to it. Um, one, I had already been working on this path, um, but there was just something so compelling about it that I have yet to unpack. So in a way, I really can't answer your question. Not fully. That's uh, fair. It's, it's That's totally fair. Yeah. It's something that I was moved to do. I was inspired to do. You know, when you feel that vibratory resonance and it's just something in your spine goes click, 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 and you pay attention. And mm -hmm. you're like, oh yeah, this, but no doubt. Like it's a no brainer kind of thing. Um, what I'm hearing what from it, you is it's, it's having that knowing that this is in your path to be yeah. expanding personally in, mm -hmm. and it's having that full trust in and faith in source, energy, spirit, whatever word <laughs> lands with you as divine creator. Yes. And that takes, that, that takes a lot of work to really get to the place in which one can truly trust the path that is coming their way by higher source and saying yes to it. So thank you for saying yes to becoming <laughs> a body of design certified facilitator and teacher as um, 
I personally think, and I know we've heard many others um, of the teachers who have come up here as well to share their experiences, that they feel that this is a, a program that all should experience in their lives and really should For experience sure. it at a young age. Um, I think Sky was telling us that she thinks it should be offered in grade school, right? Before yeah. you even get into junior <laughs> high and young adolescence and, and become a young adult, because I mean, I'll tell you right now that if I knew some of the things that I have learned just in my own personal journey of wisdom, but particularly in this course, I think, I think my path might have been not necessarily different, but I would have been able to appreciate it more because For I would sure. have been more myself. Yes. For sure. And maybe it would be different. That's not for me to know. <laughs> no, it just would have been different. I mean, there is sort of this perfection that have, has led us to this very now moment in a way, Diane, to you and I speaking here now, who knows what will happen three hours from now, but at this moment, we are speaking about a particular project that you and I on our journeys have come to. And we have both said yes to this offer. What's interesting, what's coming to mind now is Lauren was a little surprised when I said yes. Well, that's what I remember. She was like, oh really <laughs> she's like i thought you were on your own and and i was like no there's something important about to happen here for me and for others there's something about another reason that i'm gleaning now as i'm leaning into my why for this mm -hmm. there's something about container um being held in safe space or creating safe space is creating community being held in spirit with intention and um, both of those threads held in spirit intention of being held in spirit and that held uh, those are very strong threads through what I glean from what's about to launch next week it begins next week, a uh, uh, week from yesterday, right? Next Thursday. Yes. Uh, that those two things are, are strong threads. I believe and I feel that magic happens. <laughs> what the smaller, as small as self mind deems magic or magical uh, or miraculous or, you know, of course, and familiar <laughs> for some of us. It creates a, a, a space for those kinds of things to emerge. Mm -hmm. uh, that's exciting. That's, that's the forefront kind of cutting edge of what we're leading into these days. Uh, and so, because everything, all those words I just said describe a flavor or a taste of something. That's my sense about what's about to occur. <laughs> and I, um, I want in, I want to be part of that. Who I am, how I am evolving, how I hold space for others, how I show up, how I listen, how I feel the love within and shine that out remains to be seen, remains to be seen in every moment uh, throughout this container of time space, throughout the container of time space, which is 12 weeks, starting next week. <laughs> so that I'm all about stuff like that. And I know that's a lot of maybe abstracty speak. It's uh, how I roll people. <laughs> I, I know, I know, but I know some people may be watching and thinking, what is she talking about? But I get you. I, I get yes. what you're saying completely. And, and there'll be some know, people who see this and will say, oh, yeah, I know exactly what she's talking about. Great. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes. And, you know, that's the one thing about the program is that the Lawrence, um, 
make everything so simple in the terminology so that it lands well with everyone. So there's, you know, no need to be intimidated by some of the large words or ambiguity that we speak of, um, just because there is some abstract to the program to allow each student to experience it on their own as they need to in that 12 week moment. Yeah. Yes. That's how it's designed. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, it's, it's no, really cool. It's very cool. And if you haven't taken, this is for people listening to this who haven't done any kind of workshop or retreat or experience with Lauren and Trofermo before, um, or Lauren Olivia, there's an element of surprise. There's an element of channeling that happens in the moment, depending on who is there that night, that evolves everybody who hears it in that moment. But that's not something you can really prepare for. That's something that you have to show up and be present for that, ch that Lauren brings through. Um, oh yeah, we experienced oh, that last night during our yes. teacher group session um, and it came up twice and it's so, it's so really amazing and cool to experience in the moment because she's it like, really is who's experiencing this? Cause we need to talk about this yes. and move through this, you know, for yourself. And sometimes it has absolutely nothing to do with the program in and of itself, but she kind of takes that little bit of extension and saying, you know what, this is going to help you um, yeah. now and in the long run and be able to help you experience body of design in its maximum potential for you in this 12 week now moment. And so she gives that extra attention and care, which is always kind of the, bonus features to yeah. taking the course because she has a fair amount of repeat students that have taken yes. body of love or body of light or both of them repeatedly yes. and who yes. have taken the programs and are planning on taking the body of design as well. And there's a couple of reasons for it. One, as I had just mentioned, is, you know, as you said, the student body is different. So depending upon who's showing up, there's that customization in the moment now of which comes through for Lauren, for the student body as a collective, as well as any individuals that readings come up on for specific work that benefit others as well comes through. But it's also dependent upon where you are in your own specific journey. So, you know, who I was a year ago, five years ago, even five months ago is different from where I am now. And so when I take that information, I'm using myself as a simple as example. So when I take the course again, that information is being experienced completely different because yes. I have evolved from my past self through various experiences and I'm faced with other current day circumstances and future self planning that when I hear the principles, when I hear the information again, when I feel the energy coming through myself of how I'm experiencing it, I'm getting something different out of it. Which yes. is why there's many a times repeat students and you might see familiar faces yeah. again in, in this student body because as Lauren had mentioned yesterday, there's a fair amount of people that have signed up already. There still are spots available. Registration um, goes up for the most part. I think she keeps keeps it open until the day of. Sometimes she may even you know, leave it a day or two later um, for, sure. for circumstances that warrant it for somebody who really feels they need to be in the program. Um, and you know, the, the nice thing too about these courses that she offers is that it is a smaller student body. So you get the individual attention. It doesn't feel as overwhelming, um, especially since we're meeting virtually on Zoom that, you know, we've got um, at least those are my experiences. And it seems to be just kind of the MO of how Lauren works and how 
the courses are formulated and drawn is to be able to offer that individualized attention in a smaller group setting. And it's yes. not that you're getting the one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, I know that there are certain it's aspects group. Yeah. to the program that do include one-on-one, -on -one, but it just gives a completely different vibe um, and feeling to it so that the information lands well with you because she has a better line of sight of being able to read the body language to see if somebody has deer in the headlights um, on For one of sure. the concepts. And she takes a step back. Or Lauren Olivia, she's great at that, like steps in and is like, let me try yes. saying it this way, <laughs> um, which is so cool about how they partner together with the, the program material. Yeah, I concur for sure. Plus, there'll be the six of us holding space and facilitating and assisting and perhaps channeling. And if you guys haven't seen Diane Jankowski channel before, you're in for a treat. <laughs> so there's other opportunities and other perspectives on the basic principles. Uh, yes. Clarity, compassion, joy for the creative solution unfolding. And speaking of unfolding, can I just add, I know we probably have to like not no, go good. on forever here. We're good on time. Um, one of the new emphasis that I'm really excited about that we talked about last night is the timeline energy healing, the timeline work, the moving through your aligning uh, with your Akash, aligning with your true purpose. And then through time, space, reality, we go to tomorrow and we go to a year from now and we go to 10 years from now. And here's the thing in the present time, you can use these body of love, body of light, body of design principles to help align your forward path, to clear up not everything, because you can't do everything all at once. You just do a little bit by little bit, part of the gentleness, step by step. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about that aspect of really bringing, really putting more emphasis on the timeline work, on the timeline energy healing. That's, you must be um, telepathic because I was going to ask you what you were most excited about this upcoming program. That's what I'm program. most excited about. I mean, I'm excited about the unknown. I'm excited about having an idea, showing up, and then being present and seeing what arises. So that I'm most excited about. Uh, secondly, I am really excited about the timeline, that the newness, that adding that. I mean, it's always kind of been there. It's coming a little bit more to the fore um, this coming summer. Uh, and everything that involves, you know, part of what that involves is what is unresolved within you what needs the gaze of your loving heart upon it? <laughs> Sometimes that looks like forgiveness. Sometimes that looks like compassion towards self, which is just another form of forgiveness, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I think that's really exciting, really interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm most excited about. That, that is, that's valid. And when that came up last night during our teacher group, it I was like, ooh, ooh. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait to, to hear more on that as we continue yeah. to explore that concept that's being added. You know, you bring up the kind of the uniqueness of having six of us going through this program from a certification standpoint to teach it yes. in future. And that really offers a unique experience to the student body of those who register because not only are they having the benefit of Lauren and Lauren teaching the body of design, but then also having our perspectives as well in the sections that we're going to have a greater involvement in. So I'm excited about that for the students. I'm really I excited am, about that. I, yes. <laughs> it's going to be bananas. I think that we can only call it words like that and think about it presciently and beforehand. I, I just have a feeling. BFD. Yeah. yeah. 
it is. I mean, it's God, just, it, yeah. it, and for the six of us to be stepping up because we believe in this so much. So um, to be able to offer it out to others really shows the impact of this course to our own yes. personal journeys that we believe for in sure. the material so much so that we want to be able to offer it to others as well through our own avenues. Yes. And yes. I'm so um, grateful that Lauren has made certification an opportunity to us. I am too. I'm really excited about that. We, um, as Diane just mentioned, everybody, we had a meeting last night that went long, of course, because <laughs> we all like to talk about this kind of stuff. And I, we both really got to see Lauren get really deep and excited about the possibilities and to just keep continually bringing things through. I'm excited too, the way she was talking about things last night, it really sparked in me some insights. Um, and like I said, I'm excited to be surprised about why I'm doing this and what's here. And what I did note from last night is that using body of love as a coaching framework is something that just feels like, oh, like it, it excites me. It makes sense mm -hmm. in terms of how to, because I don't, for many people who know me, I haven't done readings for a while. And I really backed away from the idea of coaching and mentoring. And I'll talk about certain subjects, but to bring people through a coaching process, like nothing has felt right for me. And I feel like the certification here to use the body of design coaching process, that feels like a good fit for me. I can do that. That feels in within integrity for my offerings in the world. Does oh yeah, sense? it totally <laughs> makes sense because when Lauren and I were talking about my interest in it, cause I was kind of push, I was the second person pushing her. I Alyssa know. was the first and I was yes. the second one of, <laughs> yeah. you gonna make this available Please, to her, be certified here? in. <laughs> and um, you know, I know it's proprietary, but at the same time, this is pretty, pretty good stuff to integrate in helping others out. And, yeah. you know, we spoke of, of how, you know, for my own empowerment coaching clients yes. that to become certified in this and be able to offer it to them with the integrity of the course of the energy behind it, um, just feels right. It's within the right ethics for me of what I hold for yes. my own personal integrity. And it allows me to not recreate the wheel, right? You know, this right. is this is something that allows me to have another toolkit to be able yes. to offer um, without going through the creation phase and to be an extension of Lauren as co-creator with Spirit for this program. Um, I'm like I said before, I'm just grateful because then I don't have to yes. recreate the wheel on it because I'm like jumping in and ready to go with all that I'm working on. And it sounds like, you know, we all journey at our own pace and such and kind of took a little bit of a sidestep um, for a few months this year. And, and you get it. You, you've had that experience as well, of kind of yeah. taking a little bit of a sidestep. Oh my God. Yes. You were moving from Florida and such, you know, life happens and we just, we flow with it and trust the process. But, you know, I want to bring something yeah. up, especially before we conclude. Yeah. And that is something that you yeah, said yeah, yeah. that we were talking about at the beginning about mm -hmm. yourself and how you and I were working together and how I yeah. mentioned <laughs> about seeing the behind the scenes of how you work. And yeah. when you were speaking about last night and yeah. what, you know, kind of getting in a little bit deeper with Lauren as she was going through the process with us, um, it gave insight of the behind the scenes of the body yeah. of design program oh, of just yes. how much that goes on through the effort, through her efforts. So what we're preparing for putting through for our efforts as well, but seeing the efforts that go 
go on behind the scenes so that yeah. the 12 weeks is because it's more than just the content being offered. There is so much, oh, yeah. as you know, as a fellow intuitive and, and energy healer, energy worker, that so much goes on behind the scenes to be able to clear and prime the students oh my for walking it's into so that true. container, as you mentioned. So last night really was cool because Lauren did take it to places for us that we really got to see kind of backstage, right? Yes. You know what? Let's unpack that a for just a few minutes. Sure, Diane, we, we definitely I think have that... time. We're at about forty-five minutes. I know we like to keep these to to about an hour, but we definitely hour, have time less, to. Yeah. We, we I, definitely have time to unpack. I don't know that students realize that there is a large energy. You know, I'm the energy geek, so I noticed. And now that I'm behind the scenes, like Diane was mentioning, I really noticed what, how much energy work the student body is receiving. Once you register, you're part of the pod. You're part of body of design for the summer. Um, your guides are already working with you. There are particular guides working with body of design itself and guiding Lauren, and dare I say, all of us, as we move into this container, into this, it's almost literally an energetic container. A lot of people use the word gritting these days, and I think Lauren used that last night, mm -hmm. um, in terms of the students, as soon as you register, and every time the students, we all show up for class on Thursday night, starting next Thursday for 12 weeks, that's when it is, guys. That's when it is. Um, every time you step in, you're stepping into an energetic bubble that has its own energy work to it. And that is something that is effortless on the part of the students. <laughs> that all they need to do is register. And this energy work is morphing them. Um, transmuting them, alchemizing through them as soon as they begin, as soon as they say yes. Uh, anyway, there's more details to say about it, but go keep Well, going. I want to interject there and just kind of <laughs> add on to what you were saying. Yes, because, yes, yes. You know, I, I know Lauren mentioned that there is a student who had registered um, alongside um, with one of their just to protect people's privacy um that with their that, partner yes there you go <laughs> um and you're so much more willing i'm so <laughs> dance around because i like to be um cautious and mindful of, yeah. of 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 people but um who doesn't have as deep of a spiritual seeking from kind of more of the metaphysical the energy yeah. work, the intuitive intuition and such with your higher self and source energy again fill in the word that best fits for you for what you like right god source energy spirit the universe um yada yada um i won't even tell you what my children call them <laughs> call source energy <laughs> um sometimes but they say it in a respectful respectful manner so as long as oh, they good. are honoring their creator <laughs> that's all that matters that's um, all that matters but um you know so for somebody who may not be familiar with some of this energy speak that christine had mentioned mm is it's no different that when you walk into a classroom, so say you're walking into a high school math class, or you're walking into a college philosophy class, or you're walking into the gym to take a boot camp, or a seminar that you're taking at work for you know your area of interest in your industry. Um, it's no different than that as far as that energy work that Christine mentions of. Yourself is already preparing you for your involvement in that class, no matter what it is. For your so, highest good. Yes, and you know, we, we all have, um, you know, whether you believe it or not, we all have spirit guides, guardian and angels, whatever languaging that feels good to call it, that is there by our side 
to help direct us and guide us in life, right? Um, and it's no different. So I offer that in saying, you know, please don't be deterred by some of the languaging that we speak of as far as like, whoa, what's that? Yes. It is a little bit more deeper because as intuitives, as channels, as energy workers, we have these gifts that be that allow us to be able to amplify that, which is really cool because it gives you the opportunity. And I'm just going to use the gym as an example. It gives the yeah. opportunity that if you're working with one of us as your gym instructor, that we're working behind the scenes to really set your subconscious self up. I'll use that word just for simplicity terms here, um, that it sets your subconscious self up of really embracing the goals of what you're trying to achieve in that gym class you're taking, right? For sure. That's the best way to draw that analogy to somebody who may not be on the spiritual path like Christine and I are of where we take it deep because that's us. We dive deep into a lot of these, these topics here on the metaphysical gift side of what has For been sure. um, honored to us, which really everybody has. Uh, intuition resides in everyone. Um, and it depends on what you want to do with it. And some of us uh, choose yeah. to help others as a result of our own gifts. And that is why Christine and I both are here to expand within the body of design teachings and offerings to become certified. And we're both excited, as you heard. Totally excited. Anything else yes. to add, Christine, on that topic? And I don't mean to hijack it from, you know, no. kind of that aspect, but I wanted to, I know, but I did, yeah. I felt it was important to add that it's it's it the analogy just so somebody who yeah. may not be as familiar with this type of offering what that means um so that you know we embrace okay. we all come from a place yeah. of love and compassion and yes there's um nothing but goodness that comes out of this program yes 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 i will add if you've been on the spiritual path for a decade, if you have been working with your chakra system, your auras, your meridians, your horror dimension, your earth grid, your soul star, if you've been working with that up the wazoo and you're like, what's next? If your chakras are being dismantled, if you're a star seed and you're like, I'm still in a body, what the F do I do? If your only resonance with the earth is your soul star chakra, and that has total meaning for you, and you've just been reincarnated, but your soul star, star, star chakra is still there, this summer is going to help you reintegrate into 3d reality in a safe gentle highly functioning way <laughs> now you're speaking language i <laughs> love <laughs> so that's for the rest of us the grids are changing they've already changed your chakra systems have already changed you've already made the shift what now what now where's the saddle to get back on the horse and where the f is the horse let's go find the horse this summer <laughs> because it's inside your heart yeah so this is for that end of the spectrum as well we speak your speak people we speak your speak <laughs> we hold space for you as you do this journey you do this journey not us we ain't doing it for you come to water horses come to the water we shall hold space for you to take a drink we're not drinking for you no kool-aid involved here guys you just show up you just show up if you believe in clarity if you believe in a full heart 
ready to meet compassion for your human embodiment, if that can evolve into joy and creativity and focus on the solution as you do your next thing, this is a space to reintegrate. So star seeds reintegrate with us in body of design this summer. That's for, that's for the other half. <laughs> Such a perfect time because a butterfly, a monarch butterfly just flew past my window and, you know, butterflies definitely do symbolize transformation. And that is what oh. this program allows you to do for yourself. We are here to empower you with a new way of looking at things for yourself and hold the space while you're doing the work, we're there yeah. to guide, we're there to facilitate, and yeah. we're really honored to be able to help you. Thank you for those who have already signed up. As Christine mentioned, the course does start next Thursday, the 15th. Yes. Um, we will be meeting at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So do the uh, time difference for your time zone. It does meet on Zoom. Um, and get ready to transform because the energy is shifting here on earth in totality as the collective. So be one of those who lead the way of change um, because change starts with you and yeah. you would be amazed just how much that small changes within you can really offer so much more peace into your life. Yes. Yeah. Whoa, we just took it down to a calm place. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Such exciting so guys, energy, though, here. And I really, yeah. really do appreciate you sharing your perspective because you have such a unique perspective. Being, <laughs> as I call you, I won't call you the energy geek anymore because to you me, can. you're the energy it's wizard. Fun. You're an energy <laughs> wizard. And you know it. You know it. <laughs> So all the info, you guys, to register after this live is done, then we can post and look either above or below wherever you find information boxes and words. That's where you can find a registration link. You'll find link for Diane's stuff. You'll find a link for my stuff. You'll find all the links and probably more written detailed stuff if you want to read things uh, rather than just hear them. So register now um bring your friends along if you want other people have already signed up and they're bringing people along I so know. It's, gonna be a, it's gonna be a crowd it's gonna be beautiful so beautiful all right well um okay. i think we accomplished a lot in our time here I today so. so i want to thank you for making time out to uh share your experiences yeah. And I say, you know, it's uh, definitely getting closer to five o'clock somewhere here where I am and where you are. So I think we conclude with just wishing everybody a very nice weekend and uh, be safe in your journeys and continue to evolve and become that beautiful butterfly that we all are. Yes. Much love, everybody. Peace out. Peace. Bye. Bye.